everybody, so today I have a good old YouTube classic for you. It's a what's in my bag, we all know the drill here. This one is a little bit different though. I have a new bag, which is always a great reason to do a new what's in my bag video. But I've been in London a few days ago and I have yet to unpack it, so I thought it'd be interesting for you to see what I take with me to London when I'm going to meetings and events and meeting people for drinks and things. Basically what that means is the amount of stuff I usually bring with me, which is a hideous amount already, gets multiplied and doubled and I just have way too much stuff in my bag. Before I start showing you anything though, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, I will leave a button up here for you to click, and that way you can see all my videos as I upload them and they'll always be in your subscription box for you. So without further ado, let me just prepare my arm to lift this bag up because it is so heavy. So this is my new bag, I really really love this, it was kind of Bought on a bit of a whim, I needed something that was going to fit a lot of stuff in, so I went to Topshop, pretty much the fail safe place that I go when I know I need something, there's always going to be stuff there that I like. So I found this, and it's actually called the Circle Tote Bag, I'm not quite sure why it's called that, because it's square. So that is interesting, um, but it's really great because it has not only a short handle here, which is a really sturdy short handle, which is great, it also has a long strap. And it wasn't actually too pricey, I think this one was £49 or thereabouts. I will leave it linked down below if you do want to go and check it out on the Topshop website. But generally I think this is just a great everyday bag to take with you when you have a lot of things to do. And it has so many compartments too, which I will show you as I get into this video because otherwise things are just going to start falling out. The main one obviously is this one on the front and then you have two sides, so it's separated down the middle, there's a back and a front, and there's a few other little pockety bits inside. I also really like this lining, it's kind of like a blush nude faux kind of snake skin, snake print lining, which looks really, really pretty. The handle also has this kind of faux snake skin on there as well. So without further rambling, and um, before my arm gives out, I'm gonna start digging into this. And like I said, this is everything I bring with me on a trip out to London. So that involves a long train journey, lots of public transport, many hours, on my own generally and then all the things I need when I'm actually in London. So the first thing that's in here is actually my MacBook and when I posted a picture of this on Instagram a lot of you asked me if it fits a laptop in it. This is actually the smallest MacBook, it's the new very kind of tiny one, I think it's about 12 inches and this just fits in perfectly. I think if you had anything bigger than this it wouldn't fit in this bag unfortunately so my normal MacBook Pro wouldn't have a chance of fitting in here. So it's really small, really compact and really thin and I get a lot of work done on the train obviously having loads of time to myself so if I'm writing blog posts or replying to emails or just watching YouTube videos procrastinating and surfing the web um, this comes in really handy so it's a great little computer or laptop if you're traveling. And then in the front compartment I don't really tend to keep much mainly because it's quite a small pocket and I feel like it kind of distorts the shape of the bag if you have too much in there. But I do keep my headphones in here just because if these end up in my bag I will never find them and they'll just be a tangled mess by the time I do so I keep those in the front pocket obviously headphones are essential for long train journeys and there have been many at a time when I've been stranded without them which is just the most painful experience um, and then also in this front pocket I have my travel card this is a little travel card holder from Paper Chase which I love it has the tube map on it not a particularly helpful part of the tube map considering the kind of places that I go uh, but nonetheless I think it's really cute um, and this just has my rail card in it with my beautiful deer in headlights looking um, passport photo. This actually runs out soon so I need to get a new one. Um, I'm getting old now as well so I don't really have many years left using one of these cards which is a shame because this gets you a third off and it's just the best thing. So then inside the front half of the bag you have this kind of little popper um, which closes everything together. It's not particularly safe, it doesn't have any zips so you could put a hand straight in there but I'm kind of protective over my bags especially when I'm in London. I'm quite vigilant and I don't really let anyone come near me so that doesn't bother me too much. So let's dig in to this part. Um, I have my purse in here. I don't know if I've shown this purse in a video before but it's so handy. I really like carrying card holders rather than big purses but they are a pain when it comes to carrying money around. You can't fit change in a card holder but this one actually has a zip at the back so you have a place to put your cards at the front and then it also zips open so you can put the odd 20p in there for the toilets at Victoria. Actually I think it's 50p now, it's gone up. So that is really handy for me. I really really like this purse and it was really cheap actually and it's also rose gold which is 
great. I also have in here my camera. Um, this is actually the Olympus Pen EPL7. Um, I got this quite recently because this is probably the most talked about vlogging camera out there. So many people have this and I was wondering if I actually needed it in my collection. I'm not much of a camera buff but I do like to collect them. I have various ones for different situations um, but I thought I would give this a go and I absolutely love it. I think this is one of the best cameras I've ever come across. It's so small and compact um, and you can change the lenses on it too so you can pretty much get whatever shot you want. I have on here at the moment, what is this? It's a 45mm lens and I actually shot a video with this so if you want to see how it looks I will leave that link down below as my evening routine skincare kind of video and also takes beautiful beautiful photos so I have this with me in case I want to take some spontaneous outfit photos or if I just want to generally take a photo of something. Um, I really like this, you can vlog on it I guess. This lens probably isn't the best for vlogging because you'd have to hold it more than an arm's length away, it just wouldn't be practical, but the bottom screen actually flips out. Um, it comes out the bottom, which I think is weird, because I'm used to it coming out the top on my other vlogging cameras. But if you are starting out and you're looking for a really beautiful camera that not only films really well, but also takes amazing photos, I would definitely check this one out. So that sits in my bag pretty much whenever I go out, if I have the space to carry it. Um, I have some tissues here, if you can't tell I have a cold, um, so these are essential at the moment. What else is in here? Um, oh, I have a pen because you always need a pen. Um, I have a hair grip. I've been trying not to tie my hair up with elastic bands or hair bands at the moment just because I don't want to break it and make it any more damaged than it already is. Um, so these little crocodile clips are just what I need everywhere at the moment. I'm starting to find them in all sorts of places around my house. Right at the bottom of this side I have loads and loads of these little Jo Malone samples. Um, which smell so so good. You can't really distinguish between the different fragrances but it just makes my bag smell amazing so I keep these at the bottom. There is one in here which isn't out yet and I am head over heels with it. I can't remember what it's called but I know that it smells incredible so I will be talking about that one as soon as it does launch. So that's everything in the main kind of front bulk of the bag and then there's two pockets on the side and then this other little kind of flappy envelope pocket. So in this I have my phone. Um, I generally tend to keep my phone in my pocket most of the time, that's where I feel like it's safest and it's usually in my hand anyway so it doesn't really live in my bag but if I do I put it in that little pocket because it's quite safe. Um, I actually love the phone case that I have at the moment. This is from Skinny Dip and it's basically little happy smiley sushis. And then in the rest of these pockets I just have a few bits that I kind of need to have on hand and smaller bits that would get lost in the bag. Um, I have a memory card in here and some change as well. Ooh, two pound coin. I never ever have two pound coins. I've got a few little travel-y essential bits. I've got a hand sanitizer here. Um, this one is from Mercy Handy. Um, it's the black vanilla one. I really, really like this. It's not my favourite. I do prefer the Aesop one, um, but this is just the one that I have in here at the moment. I do actually have something from Aesop in here. Um, I've talked about this before. It's the Ginger Flight Therapy, and this is just amazing if you're somebody that gets a bit anxious travelling or just generally kind of a bit nervous and sicky feeling. It's basically just a rollable that you can put on your pulse points or just kind of sniff under your nose. That's how I tend to use it. I just sort of sit there sniffing it until I feel better. There's a lot of these kind of things on the market, but most of them smell either like like lavender or like peppermint or minty and I don't really like those two scents whereas ginger is really calming to me and it really helps soothe my stomach so this is just a great little remedy type thing if you do get a bit nervous and travel. Okay this is a bit of a weird one. Um, these are, I don't know what you'd even call these, these are plastic coffee stoppers from Starbucks. Now there's a bit of a long story behind this. I will try and keep it as short and sweet as possible um, but basically when I get a coffee I don't really like to drink it straight away. I kind of like to carry it either home um, or just kind of sit down with it and when you're carrying a coffee that you haven't drunk yet it just splashes everywhere out of that little hole at the top it just gets really really messy and I always ask in the stores for these they basically kind of stick in the hole um, and they stop it from splashing out which is the most ingenious idea but no Starbucks have them unless you're kind of at a travel stop or a service station which I don't really understand so whenever I see them I just grab a handful of them um, just to keep in my bag for when I do actually have a coffee and I want to stick them in there so that is a bit of a weird thing to have in my handbag but so so useful I've got my favorite favorite lip combo of the moment just stuck in the top here um, where I can reach it really easily and I don't actually have that many lip products in here for a change I've just kind of stuck to these products recently I've been really into a nude lip at the moment and this combination of four products is just my favorite favorite nude lip I start with the instant light lip perfecting base from Clarins I really like 
like the balm colour versions of these but this is a kind of base and it just makes your lipstick work on so beautifully and on top of that I actually use a lip pencil this is from MAC and it's Boldy Bear one of my favourites I've talked about this loads of times before but MAC pencils are quite dry and they're sometimes harder to work into your skin so if you use this beforehand it just works really nicely but it's not as slippery as a lip balm which kind of tends to make my lipstick go all over my face so those two to begin with and then I put some of the Tom Ford first time lipstick on you know this is my favourite lipstick, I absolutely love it. And then on top of that, just to add another layer, I have one of these L'Oreal, I always forget what these are called, I think they're the Matte Max lipsticks. Um, this one is in number one, and I just dab a little bit of that on the centre of my lips just to give it a bit of dimension. So these um, four things all together are amazing, I really love this combination. And then on to the second bit, this is kind of bigger, bulkier stuff that I have in here. Um, I've got my sunglasses and my sunglasses case. This case is from H&M. Um, it's really pretty rose gold, matches my purse, um, and inside I have these which are really dirty, just going to clean those. I'm obsessed with these glasses, you've probably seen them so many times on my Instagram. They're actually from a brand called Westford Leaning, um, which is a US brand I think, but you can get them shipped to the UK on Shopbop. They're a little bit weird, they're probably not everybody's cup of tea. They don't actually have a nose bridge, which I do really like because it doesn't leave any marks across my nose. Um, and then they have really beautiful silver reflective glasses, and then a really nice kind of tortoise shell frame and they're really lightweight as well I don't like it when sunglasses are really heavy on my face so these are my go-to sunglasses at the moment I always have these in my bag and I'm so happy that it's summer and the sun is out and I can finally wear these again I've got my passport in here um, still haven't got myself a driving license so I'm using my passport at the moment for ID purposes um, this is just in my little Kate Spade wallet that I've talked about before I really like this Kate Spade purse got it on sale um, I will leave a link down below if it's still available I've got my keys um, um, I have a new addition since last featuring my keys uh, in a video, which is this little unicorn. I may be nearly 24 years old, um, but yes, I have a unicorn keyring and I think it's great. Okay, this is an essential, especially if I am traveling a bit further away and I'm gonna be out for most of the day and using my phone quite a lot. Um, this is just a portable charger. Again, it's a rose gold one. I've gone for a very rose goldy theme with the contents of my bag today. I just got this one from Amazon. It's not a particularly massive one. I do have one that holds a lot more charges than this, but I think you can get a good three or four charges from it. Um, and it's really small as well and kind of compact. So I love this and I use this honestly every single day, my phone always runs out of battery, um, so this is an essential. And the last thing in here actually is a little bag of goodies. I'm not 100% sure what's in here. Um, this is actually from Forever 21, but it's a really great little size just to chuck in your bag and keep little smaller bits organized. Um, I think there's mainly kind of beauty things in here. I've got some hairpins. I've had to buy loads of new hairpins um, because I've changed my hair color. It's not something you ever really think about, um, but all my hair pins are now the wrong colour, so I've stocked up on some blonde ones. I have a concealer in here, this is the Master Conceal Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer from Maybelline. This is actually very similar to the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, which is one of my favourites. Um, so this I keep in there just for touching up if I have any particularly large spots that want to come out. I've got a little perfume in here, uh, this is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. I do really like this, it's one of my favourite summer scents, but it's also the only perfume that I have in a mini size. Um, so that always comes with me. I have the 8 hour hand cream from Elizabeth Arden. This is the best hand cream. My hands have been so dry at the moment because I've been washing them quite a lot, which sounds really strange. I do wash my hands quite regularly, but now that I have a dog and I'm picking up all sorts of things from the floor quite often, I need to wash my hands a bit more. Um, and they've become really dry, so I've been using this to help that out. And this is just a brilliant, brilliant hand cream. It's not sticky at all, so it's great if you are out and about. Okay, I do have a few lip products in here. I must have forgotten. About about those. Um, I have another Clarins lip balm. This is the Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. Um, this is my favourite lip balm to just put on if I need a bit of moisture when I'm out and about. It's great because you don't have to stick your finger into it because it has a little applicator. Um, so it's one of my favourites but it's also great if you don't want to have kind of germy hands going into your beauty products. And I also have this from Longcom. This is one of their Juicy Shakers. I was totally sold as soon as I saw these. I thought they were just so sweet and adorable. And they're actually really, really nice. They're basically kind of lip balms mixed with lip oils mixed with a bit of colour. A bit of an interesting one, um, but they're really lovely just to have in your handbag to throw on for an everyday lip colour. They have these really sweet little sponges, which I think are really cute. Uh, this colour is number 142 Freedom of Peach. 
so pretty. It doesn't actually come out as bright as it looks in here, by the way. It's a very sheer wash of colour. Um, but I really like this just for a throw-on lip stain. I have some more Illness supplies. These are um, cold and flu day and night capsules and some soothers because soothers are just essential. There is nothing worse than sitting on a train or on a tube and having to cough really loudly and everybody just look at you like you're crazy. So these always come with me when I'm feeling a bit ill. And then the last thing I have in here is just a little mirror. This is actually another unicorn themed item, so I'm obviously saying a lot about myself with that. So that is everything in my bag. It's considerably lighter now. I can actually hold it up to take the thumbnail. Um, but you can probably see a little bit better now the insides of this. So there's a lot of space in there. You really can fit a lot in it. Totally love this for an everyday working bag. Um, like I said before, I will leave it linked down below if you wanna go and check it out. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed that. I love doing what's in my bag videos because I just get to ramble about tissues and hand sanitizer for 20 minutes. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye!